Welcome to Tiny Toots. First, unlock the background layer. Second, go to the select from the top menu and click focus area. Wait for it to process a little bit. And after that, move in focus range so that the background that's not in focus disappears, only the background. Select soften edge and then refine edge. In the refine edge, go to the edge detection, select smart radius and then go with the radius up to 250 pixels. Now select the selection tool and right click on the selection and then select inverse. Now press delete, the delete key on your keyboard. As you can see this is a pretty good and clean selection. The second part is to go to your other photo where you want to replace the head. In this case I have to make room for the head and so I have to use the crop tool to expand my canvas. After you expanded the canvas also unlock the background layer. Now select the lasso tool and delete the chin. To, uh, to zoom in you could use Control plus from your keyboard and when you're making the selection with the lasso tool if you click a point that you want to reverse only that point you can use backspace that goes back one click also if you want to move while you're zoomed in you can press the space bar and drag with your left mouse button after you made the selection delete it also make a selection on the white space and delete it too. Now it's time to get the layer with our replacement head. Click on the other image. With the left button pressed, drag the tag out of its place until you see a new window popping up. Now select the move tool and take the face and again left click, hold and drag it onto the other photo. Now we have to resize it. To resize it you can press Ctrl T or you can press that show transform controls. To scale uniformly you can hold shift while you scale or you can uh, press that little link button. Let's position the head. Let's make it a little bit transparent so you can better see where the shoulders go. Now select the lasso tool again and make a selection from the gray background so we can delete it until we reach the shoulders. This is not absolutely necessary but uh, it helps when we'll uh, use liquify to modify the neck area for her slender neck. With layer 0 selected, go to Filter, Liquify. If it's not selected, select Advanced Mode and then show Backdrop. Now make the tool bigger by using the bracket keys. Now gently push towards her neck the color until you reach a similar result. We still have a problem with her hair there and uh, the background. Now let's make the background. Make a new layer and put it at the bottom of the layer stack. Use the color picker to pick the same nuance of uh, uh, gray and then the fill bucket to click on the new layer and make it all gray. Now select the spot healing brush tool 
and after that on the top bar sample all layers. Use the brush at the intersection between the gray areas so that you have no line. Now to make the hair right. Control select layer 0 so that you get the shape of the cut man. Put layer 1 with the face on top of the stack. Click the quick mask tool, edit in quick mask tool or Q from your keyboard. And then to exit you press Q again. So after you press Q, select the brush tool and brush with black on the on the part of the selection that you want to deselect. Use a soft edge on the tips of the hair and then press Q again to see your selection. With layer 1, the face selected, hit delete key from your keyboard. Now we have to match the color of the face and the contrast of the face with the body. With layer 1 selected, go to image adjustments, brightness and contrast. Again, with layer 1 selected, go to Adjustments, Image Adjustments, and Hue Saturation. And the last step, go to Image Adjustments, Curves, and match them so that it all looks nice. So that's how you put your face on another body. Hope you liked my tutorial. Subscribe, like, share, do something with this video. Thank you very much.